Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico, and we ask one question on this channel, which is, do they write them and do they sing them like they used to? A lot of people, young and old, they think the old music is better, but I'm not so sure. And today, we're going to hit up the pole winner, Fever Ray, and forgive my hair here. It was raining outside, and I got soaked. So, uh, I just brushed back my wet hair, and do you guys care? No, you don't care at all. <laughs> I know that. So Fever Ray, this is an offshoot of the band The Knife. So this is uh, Karen Dreiser, I believe is how she says her name. And she's got a guest artist on this song. I've looked at the lyrics, I'm not... You know, I looked at the annotations on Genius, and sometimes I don't know how people get those meanings out of those words. There seems to be a lot of assumptions. So I'm just going to go with my gut instinct on this. I know it's about... Uh, isolation and uh, feeling alone and some things like that so let's go ahead and hit this up and uh, I probably will stop the video once here we go okay nice okay there's that nice low-pitched percussion with the high-pitched keyboards mm, ominous different than the knife. I am never the first to know. Follow the stream of yours. Where do people like us float? There is room in my life for bruises. Acoustic guitar, I think. Hmm, nice build on this, a nice swell. So, uh, right away, you know, her vocals were heavily treated on that song we did by The Knife. And I was wanting to hear what her real untreated voice sounds like. Now, that's not to say there isn't some vocal production on here. But for the most part, I can hear her voice and I can hear that unique accent. Uh, really interesting phrasing. So right away, what I like is the uh, difference between... I, I like the, the way they play with pitches, just like the knife did. So all the percussive elements are very bassy if I can use that word, and then the uh, synths come in and they're much more high-pitched and then her voice is uh, right slightly above the keys, I would say. And so you've got this nice separation of pitch and I like this quite a bit and the lyrics are very interesting, so let's keep going. That's nice. Very icy synth coming in there. Mm. Oh, nice. Keep this 
harmony. Mm. Almost like a water drip. Nice sound. You get that synthesizer imitating a pan pipe. It's really a nice sound. delay on there that's really nice hmm. very nice very icy uh, I like this quite a bit. So my favorite element of this, well, I liked her singing a lot, but I think my favorite thing was the electronic percussion. It just kept changing during the song. I mean, it's a five and a half minute song and I didn't get bored with it at all. So that's because the, uh, she kept adding these sonic elements and the percussion was really interesting, very interesting. And I liked in the video when she was chipping the ice block and it was right in rhythm with the electronic percussion so that you could imagine that sound being the chipping of ice. It was a, a clever marriage of the image and the music. So yeah, this was a great song. I enjoyed it quite a bit. It, it had, um, it was very ominous to me, very moody, almost depressing, but in a good way. Uh, depressing isn't a negative word for me. It's part of the palette of music. So loved it quite a bit, um, but yeah, everything just electronic, the percussion and the synths, and she just kept changing the elements in it, and uh, she kept um, uh, building the song in intensity. It had a nice swell that just went real slow through the whole song. Um, yeah, I'm impressed, and uh, yeah, her voice has got character to it quite a bit. Now there was a guest singer on here who sang one of the verses and I'll be honest with you I didn't I, I just was so engrossed in the video and the musicality of the song that I really didn't pick out the other singer and I forgot her name I just looked it up but you know I'm terrible with names so uh, I just pretty much heard the same singer throughout so I know I need to listen to the song a second time uh, but other than that, I think I picked up on everything clearly, and I would give the song an A. It's definitely a good song. Um, and the lyrics. The lyrics are above average, for sure. Um, yeah, we're not going to do a lyric dive into it. I think you could probably understand most of the words. And she was talking about having fur and eating snow and all these different uh, images and spider webs and 
all these different images, but they just give you a feeling of that mood, that, that place that she was in emotionally. And so great stuff. So thank you to, I think it was Joshua Harrison who recommended this to me. Um, I believe that, that that's the uh, viewer that suggested it. So Joshua, thank you very much. Appreciate it. And uh, you won the poll with your pick. And we'll, um, we have a pretty close, um, pretty close runner up there. So I think I'll probably hit that up too. That's a band called La Dispute. So I think we'll probably hit up a video by them, uh, an audio tree performance that was suggested to me. So um, thanks for your recommendations. Great stuff. And as we say here in Mexico, buen dia.